Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, August 4th. Barb Baker will start us with, Now thank we all our God. Friday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Angela Denker. And our scripture reading is Romans 9, 1 to 5. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart, for I could wish that my myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, who is over all God-blessed forever. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. For the Apostle Paul, following Jesus meant cutting himself off from all he had known prior to his conversion on the road to Damascus. As he writes in his letter to the Romans, Paul's choice caused him a great deal of pain and anguish. Imagine how his family and friends responded when he joined a new faith, leaving his home to travel and face persecution for following a man they believed was betraying their faith. Paul's choice cost him a great deal personally. He goes so far as to say he wishes he were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of his own people. An apostle to the Gentiles, Paul spent most of his post-conversion life as a stranger in a strange land. He was separated from his family and friends who viewed him as a betrayer and as apostate. In the hands of, lands of the Gentiles, he faced scorn and ridicule for his Jewish heritage. Not only this, but Paul spent much of his ministry in chains and under threat of persecution, eventually being martyred for his work for the gospel. He never could have known how his letters would become immortal, stretching across the globe for millennia, influencing generations to know Christ and him sacrifice crucified. Like Paul, some of us may be called to be cut off from our loved ones because of our faith in Jesus and our desire to follow him at no cost, no matter what the cost. In doing so, may we know that though the road ahead is not easy, we are in good company. We should travel this path with great humility and prayerfulness and love, with respect for what lies behind and in front of us. Let us pray. God, you call each of us to places unknown. Give us patience, courage, and connection to other weary travelers so we can continue to follow you. Amen. Our closing hymn is Standing on the Promises.
Blessings to you all.